One of the favorite arguments among abortion opponents is that women who have abortions spend their lives regretting, pining for the baby that could have been. And this has been exhaustively studied and no evidence has been found to support the notion that rates of depression are higher among women who have had abortions and women who have it. Of course, there's a strong correlation between depression and poverty and another between poverty and being a young single mother. So there is evidence going the other way. But none of that has ever stopped them from making the argument because data be damned, they have anecdotes. And when we got better data, they just went out for better anecdotes. And that's where Norma McCorvey enters the story. Now, if you don't recognize the name, that's because she was going by the name Jane Roe when she instigated the lawsuit that would enshrine abortion rights in law. Well, back in the mid-90s, despite her pivotal role in legalizing abortion, McCorvey became an outspoken critic of the practice, declaring herself firmly in the pro-life camp. So when I debunk claims of post-abortion depression with data, the anti-abortion advocates would always go, well, then why does that lady who got it legalized regret it so much? Now, in the past, I responded with a link to their community college's course offerings and statistics, but it turns out the argument is even worse than I was giving them credit for. Sure, the fact that Roe was anti-abortion was no more convincing than any other random lady coming out against it. But just because it was a shit argument doesn't mean it wasn't also a lie. That's right. According to a documentary that's going to debut tomorrow night on FX, Norma McCorvey was never really anti-abortion. She was just taking a fat check from anti-abortion propagandists to pretend to be. And the documentary source of this is pretty solid. It's Norma McCorvey's deathbed confession. Before she died in 2017, she recorded a message saying, and I quote, if a young woman wants to have an abortion, that's no skin off my ass. That's why they call it choice, end quote. So yeah, the plural of anecdote isn't data, but in this case, it turns out it isn't even anecdotes. And sure, I could go on to give you some actual misogyny in the news, but after watching sexist Christians fall on their face that fucking hard, I kind of feel like letting it linger. So on that note, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.